Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys today are a couple of pieces of equipment and how to use them that are more commonly used in exercising racehorses. But once you understand what they are and how to use them, you may find that you employ them in different areas as well. So the first is uh, this yoke. So that's the strap of leather. It's adjustable here. It's adjustable here. It goes between her legs and attaches to the girth. And it would be about this long. Now, this one is leather because it's the safest. If it needs to break, it will. Please don't eat that. Okay. Now, the first use is as an attachment point. So if you have a martingale of any kind, you can attach it to the ring. Um, this is a bib or a triangle also used with galloping racehorses. Typically, you would fit it into this little crease here. And that will give her enough room to lift her head up and have full range of movement, but not to invert it. Now, you slide that, slide the reins through. Excuse me. I need you to help eat it. Hold on, pumpkin. Hold on, pumpkin. So, the first use is as a martingale, as I said, you slide it up here, she can lift her head up and have full range of movement, but she can't invert it. The second is that it stabilizes the reins, so if you fall off and, get, and the horse runs away, it's more likely to keep the reins safely over its neck instead of having them fall under its feet. And as you can see, they're attached, and so that adds some stability too to the reins. So when you gallop, where are you going? When you gallop, you would hold a bridge. So a bridge is where you take your reins in both sides and cross them over so that both your hands are holding both the reins. So that would be a double bridge, a single would be one. I always like to use both. And when you're riding, you could hold your yoke here. And that, so that gives you quite a bit of stability. You've got your yoke to hold you. Please stay here. You've got your stabilizing the reins here, adding a little bit of weight. And so that gives your horse quite a different feel than if you're riding like this with no rings. So if you're transitioning your uh, young racehorse from galloping of the track to becoming a riding horse, this might be useful information to you because your horse is comfortable, probably comfortable being ridden with a bridge and a yoke and rings. And that's gonna give a very different feel than a single rein, which is a little bit more finessed and advanced and there's a little bit more play to it. So, I'm gonna show you another use in a minute when I get on. Okay, come here you. So, if you ride cross country or across terrain or you gallop and jump or you spend much time in two point, for example, a course or conditioning work, you may choose to carry a bridge, hold your yoke like you would in a race horse, and press it into their neck. Now, that gives quite a bit of stability if they jump or leap unexpectedly. If they stumble, they can catch themselves in the bridge. If you tip, you can catch yourself on their neck. It supports your upper body and you can hold quite a strong horse by pressing it into their neck. So there's a wide variety of uses and if you're transitioning a thoroughbred from exercising on the track to a riding horse, you may find that your horse is more comfortable being ridden in this configuration because it's accustomed to receiving the aids that way and it's going to feel different than a single ring. So, anyways, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know or comment or if you like to see something else, have a great day. Bye.